What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get your Rec Room Masters Extension two player arcade stick up and running in RetroPie on the Raspberry Pi. Now there are tutorials all over the place on how to get this up and running in RetroPie using MAME, but I wanna show you how to use this with LibRetro course, otherwise known as RetroArch. So if you're interested in only making this work with MAME games in RetroPie, Rec Room Masters has a full tutorial on their website. I'll leave a link in the description. So if you've never heard of one of these, I actually did a video on it about a year ago. This is the Extension 2-Player Control Board Emulator Edition. Now they sell this as a control board, as you can see here, but they really don't mean it to be a standalone arcade stick. It does work really well as a standalone arcade stick. There are no feet on it. This is meant to go with their extension arcade cabinets. They do have a few cabinet styles to choose from. You can throw a Raspberry Pi in here or a PC. And recently they released a bar top and a 3 4 scale arcade. And I was lucky enough to pick one of the 3 4 scales up. I will have a video coming up very shortly. Spoiler alert, it is awesome. Rec Room Masters does use genuine hap sticks and buttons. I guess you could replace them with Sanwa if you want to, but as soon as you get a hold of one of these, you won't want to replace them. The Emulator Edition does offer a trackball here. Now, one of the cool things about this, it works in the name in RetroPie, or if you plug this into a PC, you don't even need a keyboard and mouse. This will work as a mouse to navigate your whole PC so you can open up your front end of choice, mine being LaunchBox. Build quality is great. I got two kids, they have beat on this thing and it still works. Everything functions like it should. And for everything to work, you only need to plug in one USB cable to your PC or your Raspberry Pi. So now that you know what this is, let's go ahead and set this up on a Raspberry Pi running RetroPie. Remember, this video only pertains to LibRetro cores. If you want MAME, there's a link in the description to a awesome tutorial on Rec Room Master's website. Let's go ahead and get this thing set up. All right, guys, so here we go. It's really simple to set up. This whole unit is gonna be detected as a keyboard. If we go to set up our player one side, and then we wanna set up player two, it's gonna override our player one. It's just simple as that. It acts as one big keyboard. First thing we wanna do, as you can see, no gamepads detected, but when I start pressing one of my buttons, it comes up as a keyboard. We wanna map player one first. We're gonna map player one for emulation station navigation. Up, down, left, right. You can set your start, select. You can set your buttons up however you'd like, whatever fits your needs for your arcade stick. It really comes down to personal preference. Uh, if you don't like your first map, you can always remap it. When you run out of buttons here, you're just gonna skip them by holding a button you've already mapped. I'm just pressing A, that's the button I map for A until we get down to the hot key. When we reach the hotkey, we need to set up a hotkey. So I'm just going to use the same button I used for select as my hotkey. That's what I do with my regular controller. So that's what I'm going to do with my arcade stick. Now we have player one working. This is going to work in the emulation station menu here. It's also going to work in any LibRetro core, which is 90% of the games we play on the Raspberry Pi running RetroPie. If you're looking to set up MAME, Rec Room Masters has a full tutorial on their website. You can get the trackball up and running. If you guys want a video tutorial of that, just let me know in the comments and I can come up with something this weekend. It's really simple. Plug in a keyboard, start a main game, press tab, go into the input settings, and set the arcade stick up from there. But this video is focused on Libretro cores, which is, like I mentioned, 90% of the stuff we run on the Raspberry Pi, from Neo Geo, Mega Drive, NES, SNES. I mean, pretty much everything runs with a Libretro core. First thing we want to do is go to the RetroPie menu. Scroll down until we find RetroArch. We're going to enter this menu. Now I haven't updated this build. This is downloaded directly from the RetroPie website, so it's only 4.4, but this will work with a higher version. We're going to use the one player that we've already mapped. Scroll to Settings. We want to go down to Input. Now from this menu, if we scroll down, we can see input user 1 binds, input user 2 binds, 3, 4, 5. We're going to be focusing on number 2 because the first player is already mapped. So I'm going to press A, or the button you mapped as A on the first player of the arcade stick. Scroll down a little bit, and you can map each individual button, but I usually do bind all. And you need to get ready because as soon as you press A, it's going to start the countdown. You're just going to map your second player from here. Read the on-screen prompt. It's really easy to follow along. 
There are a few buttons that aren't on this arcade stick that'll show up here. Like L3, we're just going to let it finish up. It's going to time out for the rest. We don't have an analog stick here. It's going to ask us for the right analog stick. R3, let it finish. It'll count down. We now have the second player completely mapped, ready for Libretro cores. We'll just back out of here. Pressing B. Now we're going to go to the very main menu of RetroArch and go to Configuration. We want to save current configuration. Press A, you'll get a prompt at the bottom. Back up one more time and we're going to exit RetroArch. Now the second player will not be able to control inside of Emulation Station. It's only going to work inside of the Libretro emulators. We're going to start a game here. I'll go with... Um, I'll do Neo Geo. Now this isn't using MAME, this is using the LRFBA Alpha Core, which is a Libretro RetroArch Core. I'll find a game real quick. I'll find a two-player game here. And as you can see, it is an LR Core. This is by far my favorite stick that I own. Now I use this for my PC. It is a bit expensive for this stick here and it's not really meant to be just a standalone stick. This works with their extension arcade cabinets, but it works great in RetroPie and LaunchBox. I'm gonna go ahead and join the game as player two. Got our first player up and running and our second. As you can see, the stick's working fine. All my buttons are working. I'm just gonna select my second player first player we'll get into a little bit of gameplay now I know it's kind of hard with one person playing two characters but you'll get the feel for it here and I got a little clip at the very end my daughter wanted to play some Mortal Kombat so after I set this up we went ahead and did that so as you can see all the second player buttons are working great if you want to get this stick up and running in MAME instead of the Libretro cores, I will leave a link to Rec Room Master's website. They have a full tutorial over there. It's really easy to follow. To exit the game, all you have to do is press Start and the button you mapped as your hotkey. Mine is Start and Coin 1. Press them together. Exits back into the Emulation Station menu. So that's it for this video guys, we really appreciate you watching. I just kind of wanted to get this out of the way because I've had a few people ask me over the last month or so. Um, lots of people were having trouble getting this set up because if you just try to map it out of the box in Emulation Station, it'll keep replacing the first player with the second player maps and things like that. Doing it through the RetroArch menu fixes all of it. Don't forget to check out Rec Room Master's website and like always, thanks for watching. I got four. You saw I got three. That was easy.